The skin is the largest organ in the body. And because of that, it's exposed to sunshine on a regular basis, and that in itself can cause damage. We're seeing an increased incidence of skin cancer year on year. As dermatologists, we're always giving advice about how to examine your moles, and that we're looking for changes in shape, size, color. The problem is to examine one's moles completely is difficult. You might have a mole on your back, you may have it on the palms of your hands, the soles of your feet. The average person has about 20 to 25 moles normally. Mole mapping is in effect taking a series of photographs which can be taken very accurately again at the patient's next visit. The client will come in and a history will be taken the client will then be taken to another room and a series of photographs will be taken which will provide an accurate record of their moles from head to toe. If all is well, the client will be given a subsequent appointment in six months to a year when a second set of photographs will be taken. And this is where mole mapping comes into its own because those photographs will be compared very accurately by the computer to determine if there's any changes and this will be backed up by the doctor who will also be using the photographs and a physical examination to determine whether there's any cause for concern. The reason for choosing skin is that uniquely we have a team of consultant dermatologists, consultant plastic surgeons, GPs with a special interest in dermatology across the country who are all working with skin cancer. You can therefore be seen quickly and then the combination of expertise combined with the technology of mole mapping can lead to an accurate and fast diagnosis. Clients can be reassured because all the clinics within the skin organization are monitored carefully by the Medical Standards Committee and all clinics are CQC registered.